original, no carbon copy, fell from heaven, moving godly. Let's talk about it over cocktails with Carly. Kicking flavors, sitting pretty, talking confident, not cocky. Let's talk about it over cocktails with Carly. Am I sorry that I'm tardy to the party? No, not hardly. Made a quick pit stop, had a cocktail with Carly. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it over cocktails with Carly. Let's talk about it. How you cocktails with Carly. That's how you feel. Let's talk about it. How you cocktails with Carly. Tell them why you mad. Let's talk about it. Tell them how you feel. Let's talk about it. Tell them why you stressed. Tell them why you mad. Tell them why you happy. Tell them why you blessed. Tell them why you blessed. Tell them why you blessed. Tell them how you feel. Get it off your chest. Get it off your mind. Welcome to Let's Talk Over Cocktails with Carly. I am your host, Miss Carly, baby. Tonight we have PR extraordinaire, baby, Miss Brittany. Hey, baby, welcome to the show. Hey, girl. Okay, y'all, I'm losing my voice because we've been pre-gaming, okay? This show is brought to you by Hot Happy Hour Anywhere, okay? And we're a little lit, okay? So I hope y'all got your cocktails. And if you don't get your cocktails, mm -hmm. so we can get all the way into it and we can discuss, discuss everything PR and everything Indeed. in the middle. I love it. And definitely cocktails, and definitely relationships. We going all in. We're That's a little right. unorthodox tonight. That's all right. We're gonna have a good time, okay, y'all? Indeed. It's freaking St. Patty's Day. And the Lord see, will use us. Right, and, the, and, and he will use you. So get into it. I got my green on today. I'm trying to vibe. Get into yes. it. Y'all gonna see this after St. Patty's Day, but it's gonna be all right, okay? I love it. Welcome I to the it. show. And you are absolutely beautiful. Thank Let me you. just say that. Let me just put it on a record on on the on the tape on the on the recording. Put it put it on the flow. Put a period because my queens, <laughs> like seriously, I, I have to it. give us our homage because yes. you are absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And I think more black women need to be told that they're beautiful. Mm, they need I to be it. celebrated for yes. our beauty, our excellence, our power and everything that we come yes. with. It's a vibe. Thank you. It's a vibe. I receive that. I love Indeed. pouring into Happy Woman's Month. Thank you. I love pouring into us. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> On everything to Thank come. Thank you. Right? And thus far. And thus far. Period. Okay. And there are. Hard work. It's okay. a lot of hard work. And I just want to, you guys know, you watch the show. show. Hopefully you subscribe. Yeah. And if you didn't, definitely subscribe to Let's Talk Over Cocktails with Carly on YouTube and Instagram, okay? Let's talk over cocktails. So again, we're a little lit, so I hope you guys enjoy the show, but we are getting yes. ready to be very candid. Super. I definitely enjoy having a beautiful, strong, powerful yes, woman on you. the couch. Thank you. I promote positivity, black woman it power it and really empowerment. Is. And you are doing a lot for the community. I'm trying. You girl, are. I'm trying. I'm you making, got some clients, girl. Listen, I'm making my time work for me. Okay? <laughs> we have to do that. Yes. I think we have to make our time work for us. Yes. And you yeah. are doing it. Yeah. We got to sit with one of your clients on the show. Yes, Ashley. She's That's amazing. my girl. She's a ball of fire. Yeah. A she ball is. of fire. What? Oh, I like that. Can we, can I coin that? Can you can, you can. Of course, of course. Can I be a ball of fire? Of course. You can all, I you, feel like first I'm a ball of all, fire. you are a ball of fire. <laughs> okay, as soon as you touch down on this seat, it was I know lit. that's right. That's it. It was hot. That's it. Okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, but no, for real. She's a ball of fire. She's a, a, yes. a, a ball of energy. Yes. She is super authentic. I love Ashley. Yes. She's one of my like most dearest clients. I love oh. her. Um, but no, seriously, I love it because when you get the reality TV scene and the entertainment yes. scene, it's always a question of like, are these people really who real? they say they yeah. are? And so with Ashley, of course, she is literally. She's a straight shooter. Yeah. You're, what you see is what you get. She is who she is. Yes. And I love that about her which is why I feel honored to represent her. Oh, I love that. Yeah, she, that's my girl. So let's talk about it. So you are in PR. How yes. did you get into PR? Ooh, girl, faith and, I know that's right. and obedience, I would Ooh. say. Because honestly, I started this entrepreneur journey as a hairstylist. Oh, don't let me find out. Here Five right. years. Okay. okay. Five years. I did full-time uh, um, hairstyling yes. work. I opened a salon out of Philadelphia. And then I literally moved to Atlanta on the strength that I was offered a radio show by this network. Yes. And when I came out here, I realized there was a black boy on a hoverboard in a two-car garage in a four, five, six-bedroom uh -uh. house. And I said, baby, I missed the, men the memo. I missed the memo. I don't know where y'all from. I don't know where you're watching from, but I'm from Philadelphia. And where yes. I'm from... We don't get that. We don't get land. We don't get Ooh. car garages. We don't get grass. We don't get any of that 
of what we call luxury lifestyle. Ooh. It's going to be the suburbs. It's yeah. going to be the white neighborhood. Okay. And it's going to be tax times 10. So Ooh. coming to Atlanta was a whole different vibe yeah. for me. I've been here for six years. And You're loving it. I love it. When I came Atlanta here, is Chocolate City. Girl. It's amazing. It is the land of opportunity. Yes. People have to understand, don't come to Atlanta and try to be somebody you're not. Just Indeed. come to Atlanta and be your authentic Indeed. self because I think I was reading something recently where Atlanta is like the top, one of the top five or one of the top like two, please don't quote me, you guys, don't. but metropolitan cities in yeah. America. Yeah. Like it is growing as expeditiously. Yeah. And it Facts. is on the map map. Facts. For living, for opportunity, yeah. for just everything. So when you move to Atlanta, you guys, don't move here to be somebody else. Just move here and be yourself because Period. it's a melting pot of so many amazing like people and cultures. So I had to say that. Absolutely. But anyway, so you got into PR. Mm -hmm. You were Somebody said, you're amazing. You could do this. What made you say, you know what? I'm going to do PR. Honestly, it was the hiccup in the hair and the beauty industry for me. Oh. When I came here, I came here to start my hair platform and build from what I started from Philadelphia. Yeah. And the market was just not the same. It was a different price point. It was a different service structure. Yes. And so I had already moved my family here. Uh, and if you don't know, I have five daughters. Come on, five daughters. So I moved here with a six-month-old, okay? Oh. She was a baby, literally. I moved with everything we could fit in our car, and that was it. Wow. So for me, it was crunch time. It was survival mode. And what I had to do was pivot into something that I knew I could do and that I knew yeah. I was already doing, which was PR and branding. Yeah. And I got my first two celebrity clients within three months. And it Period. was it was a wrap from there. Play with I her mean, if you want to. Play with me if you want to. When you come from where <laughs> I come from, you get it from the mud. Right. Okay? If you don't know about getting it from the mud, then I don't really know. I've seen you around your client. And you, I, I love the camaraderie and I love the love and support that yeah. you give your client. Thank you. And she don't play. Thank about you. her client. I don't. And I like that. Any of my clients. I don't care who you are, what stature you are, period. Yes. If you are a B&B network, then you're lit, you're top tier. I don't take clients that are not top tier. I know that's I don't right. care what status you're at, what level of success you are. Mm -hmm. We're climbing the ladder. We're doing it big and we're getting it done. Yes. Every time. Okay, so tell me, we're, we're going to dip into your, we're going to continue with your PR because sure. I want to know about it. Later, and then later. we're going to dip into all the other stuff that we be talking about, whatever, off camera. Okay, let me Okay. <laughs> The good stuff, the tea. The good stuff, the tea. And we're going to sip a little tea in the form of cocktails. Oh, why? Mata. So I want to know what is the most intricate part of being a PR? Like, do you have, like, what are some of your clients' hiccups? Or what is some of I your most I think one of the most intricate, intricate parts is going to be in the personal space mm. like understanding and learning who your clients are on a personal note because it's yeah. big these clients to be honest they're investing in their business they're mm -hmm. paying good money to have a publicist mm -hmm. they are showing up 24 hours a day they're giving a full 100 yes. percent effort and it's a lot it's taxing so to be exposed to the intricate parts yeah. of somebody's personal life it's a their lot. personalities their character traits their flaws their challenges yeah. All of that is like super intimate and it's not something I take lightly. Yeah. Um, so for me, I would say that's definitely one of the spaces that yeah. is real. You it's know, real. I talk to my team and I talk to my team quite often, almost every day, I mm -hmm. would say. Yeah. And when I tell you, like, we dip into each other's lives. Like, I want to know about their life. I want them right. to know about my life. They know yeah, all about my should. life. Because yeah. I call them and be like, okay, this is what's going on. It's a family. <laughs> Whether they want it, it's a family. It's a family. And so I think it's so important, and people don't understand, when you're working with someone so close to you, like, they have to know. Like, I'll call Trav, and I'll be like, Trav, I'm dating this guy, and this is what's going on. And he'll be like, he'll give me his advice. Or I'll call Quan Q De Leon, and I'll be like, oh, my God, how should I handle this situation? Like, mm -hmm. I want to do this, but I want to do that. And, like, am I overreacting? And they'll yeah. let me know, but they also know how to gently give me the information where I understand. Yeah. And I may not want to, like, accept it, but it's the it's the god awful truth. For sure. I think team is a double edge investment. Yeah. It's like you're gonna invest in your team for sure with your dollars and with your time and with your attention and yes. all that and your trust. Of course trust is the biggest investment. Right. I don't care what you say what you say. Right. Um but ultimately your team is also investing in you. Yes. And I think it's such a fluid relationship yep. that has to be top tier. It has to be excellent. Yep. It has to be, you know, lucrative. It has to be right for yeah. it to work. 
And once you find that, it's amazing. It's, Let me tell you, I, I fuck with my team the long way. Period. Like, the long way. That's my family. Okay. And so it's hard when bringing people into the team. Like, Indeed. it's like a whole vetting process. Like, Indeed. are they going to be able to accommodate and, and be able to get along with? Yeah. And how is this going to work? Are we going to be able to, like, gel? And I miss my assistant, Alicia. Alicia. <laughs> I miss her so much. Aww, shout out to Alicia. Shout out to Alicia. And so. Shout out to Alicia, man. I miss oh Alicia. my God. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the mic. Jeez. Welcome <laughs> to the mic, <laughs> my guy. Okay. And so we talked about Soul Food Sunday. And Alicia would make the she would make the macaroni and cheese. Okay. So we get Come together, on, right? And we Girl. we we conversate. We com we converse. I we love, love on each other. I love sister. We just build each other up and I think yeah. that's so important and me and uh, Ashley we talked about that and how important that is yeah sister and is everything. yes and so and I make sure I protect the kings in my in my community Indeed, that too for you know sure. like that's I'm, what we do that's what we have that's to what do, we do because if nobody's protecting our kings who's protecting them hello hello all right tap in if you haven't tapped in tap in okay okay all the way tap in okay and like and subscribe um <laughs> <laughs> Period for the value. Right. So you're this amazing PR. You're doing it. Mm -hmm. Do you take new clients? What is it working with someone? How is it working with someone like you? Um, I would say it's it's a little bit of a roller coaster. I think okay. that understanding my flow is to know me is to love me. Ooh, okay. Like I'm very personal with my clients. I go very hard. I take it very personal. Mm -hmm. However, I'm very um, unique in my style. I. I thrive under pressure. That's just who mm. I am as a person. And I think that anybody as a publicist, you have to be able to thrive under pressure. Yes. You have to be able to respond to negativity. Yes. You have to be able to challenge and want all the smoke. I want all, <laughs> let me put this on record. I want all the smoke for every single client I have, okay? <laughs> Come for me with the smoke for every client I have, okay? But, <laughs> I love it. No, seriously, because I think that there's an element of that that is needed when yes. you're representing anyone. You have to be ready for the smoke right. because it's coming. Okay. It's coming, especially it's coming. in this industry. It's coming every time. And what it is a crazy like smoke issue that you had to deal with? So let's talk about Ashley because she's she's let's, clearly on let's the Let's talk about Miss Ashley. Yes, my girl. I love her to death. She is top tier. She, she is, is authentic. She is a straight shooter. Yes. She's what you see is what you get with her. And I love that. Um, I love that for all my clients. But Ashley has gotten so much pushback. Oh, just from the trends and from her clips and yeah. the things that the producers have highlighted. Mm. Shout out to the producers. Y'all doing your job. Y'all right. did y'all big one. Okay. Right. Um, but just things like even her nails, like that is her preference. She loves long nails and she does them and well and fine. she has a bomb ass nail tech right. and they get it done. But just the fact that they, they ostracized that as a thing was kind of like a shot to me oh. because it's like, if that's your style, that's what you do. Well, you know, if somebody's ostracizing nails, yeah, they're Come really on. pulling. Super shallow. I mean, they're really Super pulling shallow. because I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an aesthetic. Exactly. You can take it off. And it's a matter of something that is it's an opinion. to a person. Yeah. And if you love the person and you're into the person, you're into what they're into. That's just what I believe. I'm old school. I'm, I'm old sorry. School too. If you're into the person, you're into what they're yeah. into. Yeah, and who cares? I mean, Madonna wears long curled nails. Madonna, we're talking a legend, got a whole BBL. Period. Okay. But it's okay when they do it. And so this is why we bring the attention to the women of color and mm. what we decide because it's a different type of fight for us. We right. have to really prove why yeah. we like something for it to be accepted. Like, I like long curved nails. It's dead. Because it feels good. I like it. It's dead. Team no nails. I don't care if I want right. no nails. What right. if I want to be nubbed out? Nubbed out. <laughs> Let me tell you, you are the most productive when you are nubbed out. Okay. Because okay. I'm going to tell you, I Listen. have nails. And sometimes I'm like, damn, do I cut my nails to be productive or do I just want to be cute on the weekends and, and whenever else I go out? Listen, <laughs> let me put it on the record. It doesn't matter what we do. As women of color, we can put our nails on our the back of our head. Mm -hmm. It's going to be lit and it's going to be the trend because we did it. And right. that's just part of black girl magic. That's what comes with the lifestyle. And if you appreciate the culture, you understand where we come from, yeah. and you dig our swag and what we do, then it's a no-brainer. It's without being said. You know what I'm that saying? That is the truth. Girl. And I, I feel that. Like yeah. 100%. It doesn't yeah. matter. We'll always be ostracized. 
But let's not be so ostracized by the people that look like us. Exactly. Because like That's oftentimes we're very tough on each other. And let's give each other a little more grace. Indeed. Let's love and support. On each other a little more. And, and support. support. Because it's okay. It doesn't cost you any money. Exactly. It doesn't run your credit, your bad credit. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. It doesn't sleep with your man. Oh. It doesn't cost you any money to be supportive. Listen. So sisters, support each other because it doesn't cost you anything to do that. The queen is speaking. If anything, it really helps empower you. The more you bless others, the more you get blessed. It's pretty simple. Anyway, I'm off my soapbox, friend. Honey, so. <laughs> don't let them get you knocked off your square. Don't let them get you knocked right. off your square. So I just want to say shout out to my team. Trav in the back is going to get on the mic tonight, y'all. We time. got Q Delion making sure our cocktails are all the way efficient. Indeed. Definitely was instrumental in getting you here. Okay, shout out to CJ in the back. I love it. On the marketing, period. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and the connectability, the network, yes. okay? It's always a network. It's black business a, scaling. Right. That's what you make sure you follow me. That's what we, we scale you black business. Sure, you make sure, yeah. since you're talking about network. <laughs> what are you doing? Make sure what are you, you doing, baby? Me. Ah, on the what are you doing? He said he wanted to be heard. He yep. wanted to be heard. He, be heard. he ain't playing. <laughs> you wanted me to you wanted you wanted me to mic up, so you got it. <laughs> we here. <laughs> Shout out to Trav in the back. He hasn't Shout mic'd out. up in a while. I Shout will tell out. you guys, uh -huh. it's about to be a very fully loaded question and show. So without further ado, let's dip into, now that we've known a little about your okay, okay. PR. One time. We gon' this is this is Britney after dark. This is Ooh, cocktails. I with like Carly. after dark. And Brit oh, Trav said, oh, did you see that look? <laughs> Honey, he went into a whole zombie on our ass. He said, mm. listen, I'm here. It for ain't it. a lot of I'm things open book. after a certain hour. This is after dark. <laughs> This is 18 and over. We are being grown and sexy tonight. Okay, one time. And we don't do this often, but tonight we're doing it with Miss Brittany, PR extraordinaire. If you want to get at her, we'll make sure all of her information is in the, the description. So you can get at my sis. Because she yes. right. She right, baby. I love it. I love yes. it. I appreciate you. So support. without further ado, Trav in the back. Hey, Quan. Quan, that shit loud as hell. <laughs> Quan is over here being Jack back. So, <laughs> listen, got you got that. the rat snacks in the okay, bag. Okay, we got a lot ass. of snacks, y'all, in the bag. We got a whole spread for our beautiful guests. And uh, without it's, further ado. It's day, top tier here. It, let, me just, let me just be the one. <laughs> I don't know if any other guest has put it on the record, but let me just explain to you that the experience is top tier. Cocktails with Carly is A1. Okay, you get treated like royalty. I love it here. It's a vibe. It's amazing. Top tier conversation with my sister. I love and it. And we're for the vibe. So yes. if you're a supporter, we fuck with you. We love it. Yes. I And I approve that message. Indeed. So without further ado, we can ready to get, get you, make sure you got your cocktail or your tea. Get comfy. We're about to talk some shit tonight, y'all. Ooh. Period. Because we were Brittany tonight. Okay. All right, let's go. We would miss extraordinary PR extraordinaire. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's talk a little about... The culture. Okay, that's all. We'll the start there. I'm ready. The culture of dating. Okay. Okay, and I, I don't I haven't spoke about dating. I don't think this year on the show. So you are my lucky contender tonight. Yes, I'm excited. So Thank what you. do you think about dating as of right now? What do you think about that? So let me just give a disclaimer. I'm very newly divorced. Okay. Um, so my dating world is a little bit upside down, but mm. I am navigating the space, whether I like it or not. It yeah. is what it is. It's a little bit of pee in the dating pool, but we're mm. gonna we're gonna embrace it with grace. Okay. Okay. So just my perspective. So you're embracing pee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not not my bad. Just started. My bad, y'all. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Brittany. Try ready. You see him? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell y'all, zero listen. to seven thousand. You better be ready. All right. Listen, I'm ready for seven thousand. We going so to it's a little kiss in the dating pool. It's just a little bit, and I think that for me personally, let me just give. Like I said, I have a lot of disclaimers, but <laughs> we go no, one no, right no, here. for real. Because <laughs> let's lay it out. Lay it out. Right. Let's here. lay it out. Okay. <laughs> so for me, the last time I've been single, I was about 19, 20 years old. Oh, that's okay. Fun. So it's been you a look lot good, of years. Brand. Thank you. I'm 34. Okay. It's been and don't look like it. Thank you. It's been 11 years, almost 11 years of marriage, and about 13 and a half years of of dating. And you know, just being off the map for that much time and coming back on Ooh, the scene is it's like a different a, ball a game. culture shock. It's an extreme culture shock. 
I think when I was 19, the guys that were coming at us as women were more, um, I guess, eager to 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 hold up to a certain standard. Yes. As of as opposed to now, some of the guys are more just lacking that that feature of what do of you think me? they're lacking? Is it is it courting us? Is it impressing us from a? I think it's an understanding of what's needed. What do you think is needed? I don't know. I mean, just authenticity. So if it's a, a lack is, of authenticity and authenticity in the pool. So if a dude is coming to you, you want him to be his authentic self. His authentic self. What if his authentic self is getting him nosebleed seats at the arena? Then he has to be prepared for nosebleed seats. At the end of the day, I feel like if your authenticity is 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 earning you a certain level of energy, then you have to be willing to accept that level of energy. Okay. If it's giving nosebleed seats, then sir, you have to be willing to receive the nosebleed seat treatment. Let's talk about the nosebleed Yeah, because I need to know. Oh, hello, <laughs> driving the back. Welcome to the show again. Jerry, <laughs> right quick, like, because the way you, 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 you said, I don't know, I feel like you tried to chomp off the nosebleeds, Carly. No. I, you oh, you this is me. me. Oh, that was okay. Because okay. I know, I'm just saying, I'm just talking to both of y'all. Ooh. And then Brittany okay, well, said, you get the nosebleed treatment. I don't know. My nosebleed treatment's has been supreme. You feel me? So, But it's divide with me, though. Well, if it's supreme, it's not nosebleed. <laughs> you feel me? I mean, Shit. it can't be both. Nigga, I, so, got, I, got, I done paid $70 for both tickets. You feel me? Listen. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I'm going to speak on that. I'm going to speak on that. Look, I'm going to through that. I don't, I don't have it. So, Trav, I'm going to speak on that. So, I saw the... But I saw I'm the, the vibe, though. I saw, okay. Oh, we see. So I'm going to speak on that. So first off and foremost, does any woman, or all women want to be treated like a princess For sure. when they're royalty. dating, royalty. right? Like yes. royalty. And that's fair, right? I'm always an advocate. Date on your level. Date okay, on, your level. on both sides. Okay. I'm, 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 I got you, Travel. Put it together. So my thing is, if I like somebody, mm -hmm. to be honest, if I like this dude, I don't give a fuck if we're sitting in the nosebleed section. That's true. Because it is. I'm about That's to sit next to him and be rubbing on his lariat. Yeah. And because guess what? And we not and we looking past and we, a, yeah. bit, a lot of things because be, I don't care. It's the vibe. Because for me. guess what? It's the guy it's your vibe that I really want to be. Because if for real, for real, if I'm sitting on the floor, I gotta be making sure I'm right. I got I can barely talk to him because we got cameras in our face. Right. It's but if we're level sitting, of yeah, consciousness that's if we're sitting up on the nosebleed section. I could be. We could be kissing and canoodling and eating popcorn, and, and you laughing, can really enjoy yourself and talking and, and looking at the game and be and laughing yeah. at this shit. Because guess what? Nine times out of ten, he can really afford to sit on the floor, but he want to take me away from the game, but still be in the game. Right? Okay. See, that's the caveat that the woman forgot and missed. Maybe this is an intentional dude that really just wants to talk to you. And, really and maximize like, the time. Yeah, he want to be all like, so listen, baby girl, we watching. Precious. You know, that's crazy. Indeed. You know what I mean? Because yeah. even if you're watching it in his freaking basement or in his like living room, y'all are not watch. watching the game. Let me explain something. We don't have to watch it at all. I have a question at the for end of the day. <laughs> I got a, I got a quick question, right? So I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Sunday, the house played the Pelicans. They want to like six eighty for the ticket for the ticket down kind of like on the floor, but with the VIP treatment, the all you can eat, all you uh -huh, can drink, shit. That shit was okay. like six eighty. Okay. Everybody can't pay that times two. Okay. Not even times on one. Niggas like, twelve hundred dollars on the floor. Nah, it was like in the about six eighty for you damn near on the floor, but okay. you get the you get the VIP. Okay. I don't know if you know about it. I at, didn't the, know at, it the at, at the at the Hawks, I thought those tickets were more expensive. Right, some of them I, are. I agree. Some of them are. If that's the case, we can just do a girls' trip. Look, game. Some, okay, what so are you some about? of them Something. are. Well, the boots and them be sitting at. That's a little more. We're bootsy badass. But he on he court. Ah! He on the floor. Bootsy badass on the floor. But you can get in that area though for maybe six fifty, uh -huh. and have access to. The main part where it's all you can eat, all you can drink. You don't pay for none of that. You just pay six fifty. But two two tickets, that's thirteen hundred plus ticket master feed. That about fourteen fifty. I mean, man, look here. I mean, the average man is not paying that. Yes, they are. Unless, 
unless he really like on his flex. He flex. I think that you, you know what I me? think that honestly, I think that men should. Know. It's so should, much I easier. Think, I think that men should operate in the, within their means more. If they are going for Facts. a woman that is looking for a certain level of show up, whether mm -hmm. that's materialistic or not, you have to be attentive to what she requires. If she requires materialistic show up, emotional show up, physical show up, all of that. Floor is you then, go. Floor is where you go. Then you need to do so. You need to do There so are some men that can pass over the the, the monetary show up. Okay. I guarantee you, that's the nigga she really desired. I feel like that nigga I, that ain't paying nothing. I feel like he uh, busting well, cheeks with chicken wings, hey, chicken wings and fries. We don't go on this. Really bad, Trav. And you I got four hundred right now, Trav. I'm just she saying. gave me that. She gave me that ass for about two blunts, and I ain't talked her ass about two months. <laughs> 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 you feel me? That type shit. Wait this is a, a little truth serum here. But y'all know. Okay. Look, I, they know. Y'all know I ain't most Listen, of some people will go for that, but the thing is, if you're looking for a certain caliber of a woman, and you're and you're and that's your target, and that's what you're looking for, and that's what you hope to yeah. score, then you have to come prepared for what that requires. And I think that yeah. in order for there to be a fluidity. There has it has to be seamless. Mm -hmm. There can't be an explanation because a lot of us women, especially at a certain level, we don't want to teach and talk and lecture and explain. We want you to just know if I you're you looking for this level of a certain you got power, then you just got to know what it is. And if you got to shoot above the rims just to be safe, then that's what I you suggest. You better stay above the rim. That's what I suggest over shooting short. <laughs> And trying to get an explanation, because baby, the patience level is on zero. Trav is acting up in the back, y'all. Okay, so he's at about five fifty. All okay. right. So city so, girls up twenty thousand. I feel good. <laughs> so my thing is, I am an advocate for dating on your level, uh -huh. whether it mean men or women. Facts. If you are wanting to take me to a game and sit me on the floor, just understand that. First off, I don't care that much about the game. So you may want to go with your homeboy. Right. Because I really don't care. Indeed. Now, if you want to go on like a little retreat where it's just me and you, or if you want to go like on like something else, like ask me what I want to do. Like, let's sit down and talk about what we'd like to right. do. Right. Let's be intentional. Let's be intentional. I think intentionalness, being intentional is like top tier right now. Yes. I think but being just consistent that with your intentional. Yes. Because you get some people, because everybody wants to be so woke and energy and intentional. Facts, facts. So my thing is, as long as you are consistent with it, that's it. and I look at consistency. That's it. Because you could take me to a game how and you show like, up. Uh, how do you show up consistently? On a regular and basis. And guess what? I'm going to show up consistently. Yes. On a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Because if I get any inclination that you are not right for me or you're on some bullshit or some mm -hmm. demon time I'm mm -hmm. gonna withdraw and I think women in general are about reciprocity yes I think women are about reciprocity we are all about not demanding something that we're not willing to bring to the table I think that we're all I, about that I, I think some women friend I'm gonna be for honest. the most part yeah I'm not gonna speak like, for everyone because some yeah. of them are just trash and I'm some not of them lie. just I'm gonna be let's just talk about those women for just a hot minute because yeah, yeah. I get it. There's a market for it. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not interested in just having sex with somebody over money. No. That's just not. It's not giving. If you just want to show me money, like, no, I'm not dealing with the broke nigga either. That's fact. So let's Cause just. Because once you've reached a certain level of success, it's not sufficient. Well, and I've reached that certain level myself. Exactly. So why would I go backwards? Right. That's what I'm saying. Because you would treat me well. Because no. you get a lot of guys that are like, oh, this woman, she may be doing her thing, and I know she's lacking this or that. Because they're professional, like, bum dudes out there Girl. that look good, and they swinging and hanging. Girl. Okay? Listen. Stay away from me. Okay? Jesus be with the I, women I, that yeah. fall. Okay? Let me just say for they the be record, professional, friend. Jesus be with the women that fall because we've all probably been there at some point of in course. time of our lives, and I'm just so grateful for the glow up because never. Never. Okay. But Never again. I just feel like <laughs> I want to perpetuate more so black love. Yeah, for sure. In t being intentional. Yeah. How do we work through these issues? Mm -hmm. How do we recognize a person that's healed and a person that has traumas? Right. And if a person and has do traumas, we do about that? well, if a man has traumas and he's trying to approach me, mm -hmm. I'm going to do my due diligence in helping him out and not giving him the time of the day. 
Right. Because like, I'm going to help you out, but it's not going to be within my space. Right. It's going to be in, mm -hmm. on Facebook, not my space. Period. So, <laughs> period. So, okay. uh, Carly, Grateful. if you don't mind, I got a question for of the guest. In the back. Uh, just to change it up a little bit. Of course. I know you said you were married for 11 years. Yes, that's correct. a long time. So, right. I mean, if you don't mind me asking, how was that experience was being a, tied I, to one person? Let me let me I would just say let me just years. put this on the record. It was an absolutely beautiful experience. I am pro marriage. I am mm -hmm. pro love. I am pro black love. I am pro commitment. Um, what I will say is that we did not align mm. in the areas of dedication to the level that we matched each other's um, goals. Goals. Relationship and, goals. And, yes, and performance. Yeah, um, performance. Yes, I think that it's important to understand that when two people become one and they take vows to be a unit that both people have to be equally yoked mm. and they have to be on the same level of dedication. And for me, that was not my case. Mm. I, I, you know, I believe that it was definitely not a mistake. It was something that I wouldn't take, you know, a race. I, I appreciate every lesson learned. Um, but ultimately as women, we have to demand what we know we deserve. Mm. And I think that's important to highlight. Um, as black men, I think it's worth giving it a shot. Like, if you're thinking about marriage, do it. Do it. If you feel like you're in love with somebody and that's your person, do it. Mm -hmm. Because they have too many statistics against us that say we can't survive in that climate, and that's bullshit. So I'm going to put that out there. We did it for almost 11 years, so shout out to us. But at the same time, a thousand times for your value and your worth. And mm -hmm. I know what I was worth, and I know my value, and I know what I brought to the table. Mm -hmm. So... Therefore, I'm comfortable with walking away, um, you know, demanding my value and demanding what I'm deserved and what I'm owed um, in that space. So it was it was good. It was good overall. I have great takeaways, but definitely You've cheers evolved. to the future. Yeah, for sure. Evolved. <laughs> I've evolved. I like that. Indeed, what about you, Carly? Indeed. Well, so I've been married mm -hmm. and I was married Beautiful. for six years and we essentially grew apart. Uh -huh. You know, he that. is in the music industry and probably one of the most humble people I knew in the uh -huh. in the music industry. Yeah. I saw his career go from the bottom all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. On that path, we grew apart, yeah. you know, and I do he believe like that. that whenever there's travel, whenever there's evolution involved, like I've learned in this space now, mm -hmm. you always have to keep the relationship. Indeed. new and Indeed. fresh and you have yeah. to date each other yeah. and so I always say when I get married again like first off I'm marrying forever this next time that's the part and I'm going to unconditional and I'm going to feed into my husband mm -hmm. just like he's going to feed into me but I am going to like to love be loved my, by me and I was just actually just telling this gentleman this yesterday or today but I was like to be loved by me like I love my friends mm -hmm. but to be loved by me is a gift. It's top tier. Yeah. And it's like I think a lot of you people have no don't idea. understand that. <laughs> and yeah. that's really a big deal. Like I'm big on that. For me, yeah. it's like that's part of the reason why I had to walk away because I had to realize the value. And I yeah. just mentioned this the other day, like full transparency. Yeah. I'm like to touch my skin is like yeah. a privilege. Like and when you don't I let a lot of people women next to, to you and when you don't let everybody in your bedroom and for when you sure. don't let people sure. cultivate your energy for to sure. be loved and to be embraced and to give and to receive in that way in it's that like facet. it yeah. is top tier and it's and i feel like top tier. on a full time basis yes. with exclusivity attached i wish sir. more women felt this way like my body is my temple like Platinum i want to give it to you on a platter i want to give all of myself to you Platinum on a platter like i think more women should feel this way instead of the, and you know, shout out to Sexy Red, that's what she does, it's not my life, but I'm not fucking somebody for money to then in turn go on social media and tell them, yeah, I fucked you for money. No. And that's what it is. No. Like, Did she I, do that? First yes. of all, how do you come up with that price point? I mean, I, what I'm, is I'm the not price point? Say, that's a great question. Forward it. It's not something I would do, and I really hate being a person that has been a mentor for young women, that it's something that's constantly perpetuated. That's indeed. Yeah. Yes. So I don't, I don't really love that, and I wish that it wasn't popular. 
but right. it is. So I want to really create an initiative to bring classy back. Yes, and so I, I think that, that as ladies, like it doesn't mean we can't listen to Future or listen to Drake or twerk or go to the strip club or drink Henny. Right, but do it respectfully. But like there's a time and place for everything, right? Indeed. 100%. And we could do all those things, all but do that. we have to be like showing our inside of our thong on Instagram? Yes, I think it's for the a, free? I, I think or for the pay. Okay, I think there needs to be a filter somewhere because we have to realize our value, like I said, and I yeah. think that part of that requires boundaries. Yeah. And limits. And I think that's uh, there's a fine line between boundaries and limits and like feminism yes. and freedom and I think they need to find the the fine line. Do you think that most women are channeling their more ratchet or their more their or I think women are fed up. To be honest, I really mm. think it's a it's a it's a it's a product of being fed up. I think some women are fed up and they know how to control it, and then some women are fed up and they just don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. They are wilding out, and yeah. I respect it, but there's a yeah. way to do it, and that's not it. And I think a lot of women are broken in a space where yeah. that is their go-to method of just wilding out. But respectfully, a lot yeah. of us are fed up. Yeah. A lot of us are tired and frustrated yeah. and on a call to action. And if we don't have the proper guidance or the proper friendships around yeah. us to encourage us to do things in a tasteful we manner, just get lost. then we will get turned up because it's real. One thing about women is that we're not far from men when it comes from when it comes to Nowadays, demanding what we deserve yeah. and just like really standing on business. And I think that it gets misconstrued when we have influences around us that are super turned. It's not a good formula. But it is what it is. And just being an adult, yeah. like... I'm going to tell you what I find the most interesting is uh -huh. the flip of men nowadays. How men are like... And I, these are men that I poll, like, in my social circle. Have the And just, they are just like, we don't care for the BBL thing. Have we don't like it. And these are guys that have been like, I've been yeah. there. I liked it. It was yeah. cool. It's I don't want a woman with the BBL. I don't want the, the duck lips. I don't want any of this... And what about these women that are stuck with this look? I feel like... Listen, I mean, I don't want to be the cliche, but I, can I get spiritual with y'all? At we? the end of the day, can God we? God is love. God is always going to yeah. be love. God is always going to be the yeah. truth, the light, the way, and the and the one the one track mind. Um, and one thing I will always say is that when you get caught up in the image and in the human and the flesh and the desires, you're going to go astray. And I yeah. just personally feel like... Natural is always best. Nobody can do it better than God. So if you think you're going to recreate what he created, think again. Yeah. You're wasting your money. You're wasting your investment. You're wasting your energy. Yeah. Just stick with what he gave you. I'm going to tell you, though. I, I do. I'm going to say, friend, I totally agree with you, but I also yeah. believe in cosmetic surgery uh -huh. and whatever it is that you want to do to make yourself feel better. Yeah. I don't subscribe to altering your complete self. Right. I don't subscribe to... Taking your, there's this new thing that's, it's like a, neth, a, a ethnic rhinoplasty mm -hmm. where you take your ethnic nose oh. and you make it into a European nose. Like, or you take your ass and you just make and it you a make it 60 into a, inch. Like, like, it's literally like shopping by culture. Yeah. No. I don't, I don't We're personally subscribe We're to that. that. I do believe in enhancements. If you want to make your breasts go from tube socks to more like, you know, she said two sides. little oh, watermelon. Yes, like right. do your thing. You no, know, no, you no, want to no, get rid of sure. cellulite. And I think that individuality is a thing. Yeah. And if you feel like that's your avenue and that's your method of getting what you need to yeah. get done, done by all means. But I just feel like leading with the process of not being satisfied is borderline. Like just yeah. on a women empowerment note. If if there's if there's a lack there or disconnect, I think it's always going to be there no matter what you get done. Yeah. So at the core, you have to be in love with yourself. I and love if you're that. in love with yourself and you just want an enhancement because you're lit and you're that girl, then do what you got to do. But if this is like a, a a cry for help or an answer to a problem, it's not it. I, I find it, let me tell you, I find it interesting that girls they get their body done and uh -huh. they change into a whole different person, like girl. personality and everything, girl. and they're what? looking at it like. I'm that bitch. Like, you don't know. It's like, girl, you just got them hips yesterday. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, relax. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so let's talk about, so, all right, girls, y'all do what y'all want to do, what, do with your bodies. Just Period. understand. Okay, and we respect a lot of men it. are more so interested. And if you're going to get some work, just get more natural It's short-lived. It and is. And it is what it is. Ladies yeah. with the asses and the BBLs, 
I don't know if dudes are going to be taking you serious like that because it's just what I've polled with men. Yeah. It's a mentality that they've associated with the yeah. BBLs. I think it's fun, but there's no longevity. And I hear so many men saying that, like, oh, it's yeah. fun, I'll fuck it, but then after that, I'm not going to wife it. Is that, Quan De Leon, do they say that? Yeah, they say, I'll fuck it. They do. <laughs> so. Do you need me to get Quan a mic? Because I can agree <laughs> with him. We'll fuck it, but we not wifing it. Why? Why? From Bust a male's perspective, why are you guys not wifing women with because BBL? Because I would. Oh, oh, you said with a BBL. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I thought said, well, you were talking about. I, I thought you were talking about women in general. So, you know so what my saying? question to you, because as I, a man, I I feel like that's you know what. From so from a male's perspective, are you wifing a woman with a BBL? I don't know. Because it, it that depends on how she makes me feel. Okay, so are yeah, you wiping yeah, yeah. a like woman? If she, he said like if she's, if she's had body, enhancements. It depends on the soul that the body is attached Like, I ain't really, you know, if she's had enhancement ha enhancements, I'm not necessarily impressed by that. But maybe I tapped into something else before I found that out. So she might be the one for me. But if I found that out immediately, yeah. before I really found out what I like about her, then right. I might be like, I don't know. I'm you might so make up a judgment. So yeah. you're yeah, saying that initial exactly. response, seeing a woman with a BBL, is that something that you would approach or you will not? Don't let me, I don't know if she has that. But if you let me know that you've been chopped on the first date, then I might judge you. So could you deal with a woman that's had so a baby out? When I take them judgment. clothes off, though, yeah, when them, when them clothes judgment? come off well, and I you got a scarred up, I'm going to be like, ah, damn, man. So I got a question. I have a specific question. You get with a woman, you don't know that she's had enhancements, which, okay. She gets naked and they're scarring. Is that attractive or is it unattractive? And have it you been in that It can be space? very unattractive. And I have seen some really bad bodies. Very. Wow. Very like, so you look really, you, you're attractive with your clothes on. But God damn, when you get naked, that shit bad. Why you do that to your body? So would you rather stretch marks and cellulite versus? Absolutely. Ooh. Wow. All day. Period. Versus you being cut on and your damn your your belly button and your nipples look like snake eyes. <laughs> I'm about to take a sip. And right? then your nipples being the difference. You, a lot of a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really trying to be that person like that I'm a, you know, but yo, why is your nipple not in the right spot? <laughs> <laughs> On your titty. <laughs> For real. Yeah. And y'all so know me, this so shit. So let me just say, I mean, I don't know what it's like from a from a guy's perspective. Is, your, till, from, is your nipple not in the right spot? What spot is Listen, it in, let, let, me, let me explain something to you. I'm going to just say natural over here. I don't know nothing about that life. I don't know nothing about that cosmetic life. I'm 100% natural over here, so I don't know. I and don't I know. need you to stay. Yeah, but, hey, yep. And all I, right, all right. I feel that. I feel <laughs> that. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. I feel that so, natural right, so, 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 literally, I feel like, to me, I'm, I'm not a man, of course, and I'm not analyzing women in that light. But if I were to try to put myself in those shoes, I feel like my biggest red flag would be the lack of, of, of confidence and security in themselves mm. as a person. I think that would be my biggest red flag is like, I get that you may want a little enhancement, you may want a little this or that or whatever, but overall it's like, who are you as a person and what do you think about yourself to the point that you had to go that route? I think the route? scarring for me, like, I think that would be a turnoff because so, I'm, a, I'm a naked person. Like, if I, I want to see you naked. Yeah. And if I see you naked and. It's shit like you been, you done been I'm slashed. I'm be grossed out because. Like Frankenstein. I'm, Motherfucker Michael Myers hit your way up. Pow, pow, okay, pow. okay, try. So <laughs> I, I, I would, I don't want to see somebody with all this scarring naked. It okay, would be so eternal. let me just give you from, from my perspective also. Okay. I know certain weight loss surgery. Oh my God. Doesn't really have scars like that. The uh, whatever 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 people do to lose weight the with the stomach. Band. Yeah. Sometimes you can push that too far. And now the person that was attracted to you is not attracted to you anymore. And well, because you, I think sometimes, sometimes you gotta understand their natural that natural genes are like a thicker gene, like nah, you're you meant ain't, to be it, a thicker person. Man, that, I think what he's saying. I think it's what he's based saying on is what you person, like, though. That person. So I think what he's saying is, 
For example, you're dating someone, you're yeah. a man, you're dating a woman, she gets the lap band, uh -huh. and she completely either changes she transforms. her look. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe he and initially likes her Some because women, she was kind of thick. Right. That's and what I'm then saying. she loses all this weight yeah. and she doesn't have anything that he was attracted to. There you go. And you can't, and you, 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 you if, if he, if he talks to you about it the proper way, you can't be like, man, fuck him. He ain't shit, man. These niggas ain't shit. No, you, you're just, you, you transform. You're not what he likes anymore. Okay, so what do you think about that? And now you talking about, nigga, I'm healthy. So I'm, I'm, health, I'm out health. I was going to say, when no, health bitch, comes you just in, lost all your ass. then what? <laughs> like, I guess you're more so not. So my thing is, if you get if you get with someone, yeah. and they get a procedure done, yeah. and they lose a lot of weight, essentially they're not the same person. They're you met. not. That's they're not met. the exactly. same person that you were initially attracted exactly. to. Correct. So it's just like, for example, for us, we meet a man. He's got a large Johnson. Ah. He loses weight miraculously. His Johnson loses weight. Jeez, That's yeah. a different man yeah. that you initially was attracted to sexually. Facts, facts, facts yeah. yeah. So you meet a, this man, he meets a woman. She's got these voluptuous breasts and, and thighs and all those things he likes. Yeah. In addition to her personality and right, everything else. Right, right, The full package. They yeah. deflate. And he's like, damn, that's 50% of the person I wanted. The person, yeah. Is that fair? The thing, Is that fair yeah, to that's, say, that's, that's fair. Yeah. Trev is like, yes, yes. this sounds like a, a very um, near to Valid dear. argument. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really emotional about this. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, that was my person. Facts. So I, I can understand cash in. that. So tell me, the, what's important to you? Size or personality? 100% personality. 100 so you can be with a man with a no size and a personality? I hate to put this on record. Just put it on I record, really friend. Do. Put it on the flow. I mean, I think, I, I think I'm think i selfish and I feel like I deserve both. So that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to say I deserve both, but it also there's other attributes to sex. That's true. So That's true. That's true. 100%. If a man is not as well in doubt, but he is an emotional stimulator... Yeah. You can very much be... Conversate. Exactly. Uh, uh -huh. It's just like, if he's not rich now, but he's very intelligent. Yeah. And he has the resources, he could be rich down the, you know... Down the line, for sure. 100%. You know, there will be other times where we dip a little deeper, you know. And I'll be but, here. And she will be here. Call me. So, if there was one thing that you would like to say to the viewers about life, about business, about whatever, whatever it is, what is it? I would have to say, um, show up for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, show up in excellence. Mm -hmm. Never sell yourself short. Um, comparison is the thief of joy, for sure. Mm -hmm. Comparison is always the thief of joy. Um, you know, don't believe the hype and what you see and what you soak in on social media and in the entertainment space. It's a lot of fluff. It's a mm. lot of, you know, fabrication. And just lean in on authenticity. I'm all about being who you really are and standing for what you really believe in. Um, and just standing on business, as they say now. Stand on business. Stand for something or fall for anything, and I'm a firm believer of that. I love the culture. I love yeah. our people. Um, and just, you know, stick with what you know is true. Listen to your gut. I love it. 100%. And so let everybody know where they can find you. Trav, are we in this camera? Yes. All right, let um, everybody know. Yes, yeah, so CEO Britt Miller is CEO, B-R-I-T-T-M-I-L-L-E-R -L -L -E on Instagram. And you can find all of my links and my pages there. Everything is conducive. So let me know if hey. you need. I'm here. And I am Cocktails with Carly. You can find me on Instagram at Let's Talk Over Cocktails. You can also find my personal page, which is Cocktails with Carly. And then, of course, you can find us on YouTube, which definitely like and subscribe and both or not the other. Period. At Let's Talk Over Cocktails with Carly. Definitely, if you guys are looking to be a guest, reach out to my talent, which is in my talent manager, which is actually in my bio. So thank you so much for watching. Shout out to my guests tonight. Thank you. Shout out to the people in the back that decided to come and enjoy themselves. So that shout out to CJ that came and hung out with us. Trav in the back, and of course, Quan De Leon. Thank Indeed. you so much for watching. Such I appreciate you guys. See you next week. Bye.